Yo, 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 this is King Gurner coming to you guys live and direct. First and foremost, make sure you do what? Go follow me at K-I-N-G-E-A-R-N-E-R -E -E and the number one. When you get there, click the link in the bio. When you click that link in the bio, make sure you join ASAP. When you join, you give you and your children an opportunity to vent and give up what's going on. You can say, earn up. Not in my Instagram DM now. I get a lot of that. And people be playing. I don't got time for games. And, and you know, got serious people. But at the end of the day, I know when you come in here clicking this link and joining the honor, guess what? You're going to be a part of the honor. So I need you commenting. I need you posting what's going on in your community. You know, we're going to create a safe place where parents can give an understanding to us. And we can give some honorable advice without no charge. Without hounding individuals. Hey, man, you know, we need money to keep... No, 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 no. This is free honor boy advice. Who's going to go against that? While you're there, you can get some entertainment. You can do what? Look at the companion link that I have there. It's Leak Moss. Your child can go ahead and listen to Leak Moss out of hibernation. Out of hibernation to teach your child a lot of positivity. So make sure y'all follow him on Instagram. Also at L-I-K-M-O-S-S underscore O-B-H-G-J. Now today, this is for the young ladies. Y'all gonna be mad at me, young ladies, but I gotta put the dads down and I gotta put the moms down. When I was coming up as a child, my grandmother was strict. Yeah, it's like, damn, how you become so much of a bad kid? Well, that was outside of the home. So that's why I'm teaching y'all about manners outside of the home. Inside the home, <laughs> You couldn't get none of that from me. Nothing negative. Everything was positive because I had to make sure that my grandmother and them were respected because they took me in when I was just a little pup. You know what I'm saying? And the stuff that I've been through in life from a baby to that age, I had to honor and love them. But in the streets, I was, you know, out of pocket, man. I don't know. I thought it was cool. My mom told me that it was cool. I saw it going on in the house. You could never tell me it was cool to the... I had to go through these experiences and things in life and say, hey, the only thing that I honor that my mom taught me that I love is how to never, ever involve people business in your mouth that have nothing to do with you. Meaning if I was on the streets and things happened and I seen them and I, or if I was a part of something, I always zip, you see? So I honor that. But the drug abuse, the negative things, the abuse period, all these things, no honor because you have to grow into understanding that these things are not good. So if you have a little girl, you know that you can't give them too much leniency. I'm sorry. Now you can build a trust with your baby from the time they're born to the time they're an adult. And you know, you can get a lot of honesty, you get a lot of truth and you can create something that's positive there. But if you don't do that at the end of the day, what ends up happening is individuals make mistakes and they slip up. When you slip up and make these mistakes, it could cause you having a brand new child, <laughs> becoming a grandparent, or, or it could be a thing where something else go on. Your child catch a disease. Your, your child is uh, violated. I don't even like saying the words that got to do with the violation, you know, to women. So these things happen. And when these things happen, your child begin to go in a different direction, no matter how positive they are. If your child is fondled, violated, without the understanding of what's going on, that could bother them the rest of their life, especially a little girl, to the point it can make that little girl want to be a little boy because the violation and make her not want men anymore and you may not know about this violation or something that happened to your daughter if you don't do a mean investigation that investigation includes you always being in your child's phone mm -hmm. i need to see that i was talking to a brother of mine last week and he was doing that and i was like honorable you know more than anything you get individuals that say when you go through your children things that you're violating their privacy. Yes, you are. So what? <laughs> because you're their guardian. You're in control of them. 
Can't nobody tell you if your child mess around and, you know, go catch a disease or be violated or be dishonored in a way that's unpleasing to you as a mother or a father. Can't nobody tell you how to feel about that, right? Because you're going to go off the deep end. So to prevent these things, you need to know what's going on with your child. So King Gurner today is going to give you the signs. I'm going to give you a sign of corruption about to come into your home. And it's sad to say because not every young man that's writing a, a, a female, you know, young as being juvenile joints, they write females and they give them their love. And they could really love this woman or this young lady, may I say. But at the end of the day, we all know about the intentions sometime when we come home from prison. We love a woman, ah, then it's like when we get a taste of it, it's like, ah, I was just bitten. You can't allow your daughter to get bitten on, you see? Bottom line, I don't have to go no further because I don't want to mess no letters up and for people up in jail and women that are really sticking with good men that's in prison. So my thing is to give you an understanding that it just can't happen with my child. You, see, you know, you have to understand that it, it don't have to be any negative from the person in prison. It could be positive. It could be everything. But those letters are intimate. And I don't need my daughter being attached to anyone if my daughter is not married. Bottom line, I'm her father. I'm who she should be attached to, regardless of anything that goes on in life. You hear where I'm coming from? So you walk the hand and you give them understanding. You may, re you know, intercept the letter and read it. Oh, you may see the letters of honor, so y'all can keep these letters going on, but I need to see them when they come in and out. And I had a father do that to me when I was younger. Yeah, I did, and a girl named Yanni from Logan, you know, in Philly. I knocked on, I came, I came and knocked on her door and all that. Pop came out, yeah, I wanted to meet you. You know, you write my daughter these letters, and I respect that. And then I didn't, man, who are we talking to? Because we don't have a mannerism. So you have to understand, have manners can't go against that. Children have manners. Your parents can investigate and let them investigate. Another thing is my grandmother, she was so on point. She was so sharp. I can remember a cousin of mine, I'm not going to say her name, love her to death still, um, whatever the case, we grew up together and she had wound up getting pregnant. And when she got pregnant, it went haywire because she was playing like she was still having her mistress, her menstrual. And what ended up happening is my grandmother was paying attention to how she knew how she would rap. Back then it was like maxi pads and stuff like that. So my grandmother only had to look at one maxi pad and say, ha, ah, she's not on her period. And when she done that, she, you know, she blew everybody because my cousin confessed that she was pregnant. And it was like, whoa, pregnant, we, we ain't even see you leave, what you been doing? And it hurt me. It hurt me because my cousin was like my sister. So it was like, damn, what's, what's, I couldn't believe somebody had had sex with her. So it just kind of threw me off. And my grandmother was very upset about it. And, you know, things that got out of hand about it because it was like, that can't happen in here. It can't happen in her home where we grew up at. Anything that went on that home, if it wasn't a vine, you had to roll, man. Bottom line, I'm probably the only one that could make mistakes and still stick around. So that's another angle. But another angle, too, is what are they doing when they leave the house? You know, nowadays we have GPS. Your child, your daughter should have it on their phone. This Everything I'm saying, you're going to use it for your son also. But I'm just, right now, I'm speaking to the fathers and the mothers that aren't, aren't on point. Get on point. Look through their book bags. When they're not home, look through their drawers. Make through sure they don't got nothing in their drawers hiding. Things that they could put in their drawers that you don't know. It could be a drug. It could be a weapon. It could be anything. But you should know what's going on in your house. But some of you guys are going to sit and say, King Erna, that's a little too much. I trust my baby. Hmm. You know how many women that have daddies that trusted them and lost their virginity at a young age and end up having children and a father 
just too young, don't know about it, don't know what's going on, and don't even be a parent. All because, oh, well, I have that trust to them and things of this nature. At the end of the day, you must be on point. Being on point consists of you checking things and making sure everything is okay. Don't give me that. That's their privacy thing. Until they get a certain age when you know that they can make decisions on their own. Now, one would say, King or not, let me ask you this. If my child is doing these things right now and messing up in school and, you know, sneaking around with boys and doing these things, could that child be, is she ruined? No. No. It's a lot of good in her. The reason why there's a lot of good in her because even though she's going through these mistakes, she is getting an understanding of life. And when you get an understanding of life, you get an understanding that these experiences, these things that some people may have looked at was holding you back, is now pulling you forward. And when they're pulling you forward, it's you because you got understanding of what? You have pure understanding of what? Talk to me because you know better than me. Of those mistakes that you made and not to make them again. So young ladies that's out here that didn't had children at a young age, that made the mistakes. The father not around for that child. Give them time. They're young. Don't settle for no nonsense, no BS, but you're young. That, that man, has, that little boy has to grow into being a man to have some understanding. And he may have to make some bad, some deci some bad decisions in order to understand that those decisions cost him his life and can ruin him and that. He need to invest into something that he should be guided and making a responsibility so they don't go in that direction to some of the mistakes that he made. And mind you guys, y'all are young, so y'all making what? Small, tiny mistakes. But you never want to make those tiny mistakes grow into a snowball effect. You know when they go down a hill and it's rolling through the snow and it get bigger and bigger and bigger. Before you know it, you didn't create some, something that you didn't even expect. Now you're off the dip deep end. Now, young lady, because the boyfriend is smoking weed, you smoking weed 24-7 now. Now, because the boyfriend didn't took a perk, you didn't took a perk because you heard it's so good for sex. Now you caught up, and now you 10 perks in, and guess what? They ain't getting you high, and somebody done slipped you a bag of dope or slipped you a pill that ain't no good that could take you out forever. Or... Just hook you forever where you're not even here with us mentally, only physically. I need for all the dads to make sure they investigate their child. Investigate not just your daughter, but your son too. But make sure you investigate your daughter because she knows that she could be what to you? She could be conniving to you. She could put that smile on and say, Daddy, no. Or she can just pull wool over your eyes 24-7. That's what mommy is always on her back. You know, huh? I don't care what your dad said. I don't care this. I don't care that. Because we don't care about the feeling of them not liking it at that time. You know, you got some parents who be like, my child isn't going to like me. Hold pause. Hold, 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 hold. Like you? Your goal is to take care of this child and make sure this child is successful. So if that child is going in the wrong direction, it's up to you to make sure they go in the right direction. So I don't get the whole like thing. You're a parent. You're not here to like. You're here to teach, care, feed, shelter, honor, love. But you're not here to make a friend because this is actually your child. And again, people. Because your child is messing up doesn't mean your child have to be a bad individual in the future. It's all about you and what you're going to do after they messed up. Because me, I was enabled when I messed up. I was given more because of my past and what I went through with my mom. So I was given extra from my grandparents when I messed up. Maybe this boy need this. Maybe that boy need that. No, 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 no. I needed the discipline. I needed them to say, no, we ain't giving you this no more. I needed them to say, them sneakers, you can't get them. 
I needed them to tell me when I sold drugs to get out the first time, not the 20th time. You hear me? Because the first time I would have got an understanding because at that time I had nowhere to go. I just started hustling. You know, I would have been lost, man. I probably would have got it together eventually. But the things I would have had to go through, they knew. Oh, no, nah, we cannot allow him to go out there at this age. And that was 11, 12 years old. 16, I was getting out of there because I knew what I had to do because I couldn't disrespect that home no more. So I couldn't live with my grandmother going through my drawers anymore, finding things. I couldn't live with her popping up with, you know, I might have left a bundle in my pocket and she washed my clothes and a bundle fall out. And she all over top me about why I got drugs and she don't want the cops coming in there. You see, these things you don't want to ever have to go through. And although you may still have to go through them, but from this little understanding from me, you can stop it from happening to the point where it's though it's out of whack. Always be there for your child, no matter what their wrong is, but never allow them to go into error. Never allow them to go into error. You allow them to go into error, you lose everything. You can't lose because when you lose them, you lose yourself. See, that's the difference between that whole friend thing. You could lose a friend and damn near be all right, right? You lose your child, you lose them. I don't care if you have another one, you can't replace that one. Bottom line. So make sure you tune in and focus. Me, I'm going to carry it the correct way. I'm old school with it. I'm going to be all over her. Don't do this, baby. Uh-uh, don't do that. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I don't care how I feel. He's getting on my nerves. Yes, I am. Because I don't want you to lose. And that's my whole goal. If I love you and you're my child, I don't want to enable you. And I know a lot of parents, they got a lot of things going on at work. Can't really be on top of it. Well, while you're at work, RN, while you're at work, warehouse worker, brother, that's striving and taking care of their child. While you're at work, doctor. While you're at work, Lawyer, turn on King Erna Honorable Talks of Teaching the Children Manners. And guess what? You'll be up on them. And you can call right home right now. What you doing? Oh, okay. Oh, you, wanna, you in the house? Get your behind in the house. It's getting late. You've been getting away for the last past year or two. Oh, what's your behind coming in late because of me doing these double shifts? Uh-uh. And I don't want no company tonight. Uh-uh. No one. When I get home, man, you need to talk. Bottom line, I'm King Erner from the Honor Your Life campaign. The goal is to get them in the direction of understanding the good. No matter what you do, they're going to think if you tell them, hey, this is homework, this is work, this is chores, this you can't do, that you can't do. They're going to feel like you're on their back, but that's what you need to be in order for you to have your child going a direction. And guess what? You know the lenience you can put on your child. You know who your child is. Don't have nobody else tell you anything about your child when you should know. I don't care how many hours you work. Stop today. Call home. Yo, what's up? And when I get home, I, I need that room cleaned up so I can see things better. I don't know what's going on. You know, when parents stop okaying the sex, I understand it's like, all right, they made the mistake. Boom. Get them condoms. Okay, cool. Get them condoms and allow them to know you can't have sex. These condoms, you hold them to get 21. You hear me? And it's unlikely to happen. But you can, put, you can plant a seed. It's only for a lawsuit panel with the island to make sure it grow. King on Alive and Direct, I appreciate these talks because I get to vent and I get to get y'all understanding of what I used to be and what I used to be into and the negative things that I had going on in my life coming up and the things surrounding my family and what we've seen. And guess what? Hopefully they have a youngest say, damn. All the shooting, all the killing, this ill manner, all the hustling and keep going because it ain't the same game no more. It's a whole different joint. It ain't the same joint. Young, it ain't nobody. Y'all don't have a block with the corners. People are all way around a block grabbing still. You can't barely get it back what you spent yesterday. So who wants to play this game anymore? You need to be getting a job, youngin. I don't care what your age is. You need to be going to some barbershop somewhere. Start conditioning yourself to understand what work is. 
and start conditioning yourself to understand it. These things that King Erner is telling me, even though my mom and my pop might not tell me, he told me, and guess what? I'm going to watch out on my own and discipline myself. King Erner live and direct. Link in bio, and make sure y'all tune in, man. Y'all know how I carry it. I'm carrying with honor. But guess what? I don't have to be in here right now with a suit and tie to make a positive example. I don't have to be a guy trying to be like anybody else. My lingo, my talk, how I carry it, how I walk, there's always going to be like that. And I'm always going to have manners, and I'm going to be respectful. Live and direct.